Since Tesla shared sketches of a small electric hatch last year, rumours have spread about a third model that would allow EV automakers to attract brands like the Nissan Leaf and Chevron Bolt. In about three years, we are confident that we can create a lovely $25,000 electric vehicle that is also fully autonomous, Musk said in a specific statement in 2020. More information on the project so far? The $25,000 Model 2 could also sell better than all future Tesla models combined, not only because of that price, but also because of the appetite of target markets that exist, especially in China, which would lead some industry watchers to believe it should be a higher priority for automakers than the controversial Cybertruck styling or the expensive Rocket Roadster. The car will be made in China for the domestic market and will also be exported worldwide. Pickups, electric or not, are not as significant a segment in China or Europe as they are in the United States, although China manufactures a lot for export. And the Roadster is expected to cost well over $100,000, which will limit its volume potential. The hatchback under $25,000 may reduce Model 3 sales on more continents, although lower margins than the Cybertruck or Roadster have the opposite effect. Another issue is the fact that the rest of Tesla's production line is now a bit out of date compared to the traditional automaker's production cycle plan. The Model S is 10 years old and has only had one facelift and interior upgrade. Robbie DeGraff, industry analyst at Auto Pacific, told Auto Week, Model 2 is an interesting scenario for Tesla's efforts in China. Discover the Hongguang Mini EV from Wuling. It's not high-tech or attractive by any means, but it's beautiful and inexpensive, costing between $4,000 and $5,000. It's also sold like crazy in January, nearly doubling the much bigger 13,843 Tesla 3. Here, Tesla sees an opportunity to get started with its own micro EV. It's not clear whether Tesla will use the Model 3 platform as a starting point for such a sedan or something smaller and different. The hatchback body style is probably the fastest and easiest way, which uses many of the tools and platforms from the Model 3, but with a smaller 244-mile battery, which the company has primarily avoided offering. The Model 2 will also need to include advanced standalone technology, making it challenging to meet the $25,000 target for the Model 3 hatchback. Our odd rendering above assumes a Model 3 based hatchback as well as a few traditional cost cutting measures like steel wheels and unpainted bumpers. A design sensitive Tesla is unlikely to be able to withstand unpainted bumpers and steel. The hatchback, which relies heavily on the Model 3 architecture, might make sense in 2017 when production of the Model 3 had just started but would be a production target exceeded by 2023. The hatchback should suit the tastes of Europeans and Chinese markets. However, the flexibility that the buyer will require of him remains to be determined. Tesla's official sketch above shows it as a coupe that really looks attractive in terms of design, but may not precisely maximise interior space in likely markets. It is the only car in the family, and this is also why the Nissan Leaf and the Chevy Bolt come in full-fledged sedans or small scooters. Just as Tesla announced Cybertruck and Roadster, their actual sales volume for the first half of the decade could be their delivery of the Model 3 to China, whether it's called the Model 2 or not. It remains to be seen whether Tesla can stick to its car departure schedule ahead of its competitors in China and elsewhere. According to Chinese media reports, Tesla will unveil a smaller electric vehicle to be designed in China at the Guangzhou Motor Show in November 2021. Dubbed the Model 2 by Tesla audiences, the compact electric car was one of several announcements Tesla CEO and founder Elon Musk made at EV Battery Day in 2020. It will be the first locally designed electric car made at Tesla China Design and it will be built in headquarters and Shanghai Gigafactory. The new vehicle will be a hatch version of the Model 3 and is expected to sell for around 160,000 yuan and have a range of 350 to 450 kilometres. According to a report from Tesla, Tasmanian has already started the environmental impact assessment process to produce Model 2, which will be produced in the second phase plant at the Shanghai plant. The EIA allegedly refers to a new early model launch project that will take six months to test. Once the compact electric car enters the lucrative and massive Chinese market, it won't be soon for Tesla.
Tesla dominates the Chinese automotive market, second only to Guling's tiny Hongwang Mini EV, which sold only 33,000 models and 23,000 Model S's in December 2020. The Model 2 is unlikely to compete with Wulang's small price point of 28,880 yuan. It's unclear if the compact Model 2 will eventually arrive in Australia, but given Tesla's confirmed preparations to bring the Shanghai-based 3s to the local market as we speak, it's out of the question, although we expect to see the Model Y here first. Tesla's Techno King has repeatedly promised an MSRP of $25,000 for this new entry-level model, although, as we've seen with the Tesla Model 3, the CEO can often be bullish with his estimates. Tesla briefly offered the Model 3 at its promised starting price of $35,000, but the cheapest version available now costs $37,990 before potential increases in gas savings. The base model at $35,000 would have been withdrawn for lack of demand. The Model 2 will be comparable to the aforementioned electric vehicles like the Volt and Leaf, with a minimum of 200 horsepower and at least 200 miles of range. While that seems like an expensive feature, Tesla has already promised that the entry-level model will include an autopilot with a full self-drive option. There are several hurdles Tesla must overcome before seeing a $25,000 entry-level model. As a first step, the company is expected to start producing the Semi, Cybertruck and Roadster, the latter unveiling in 2017. Another hurdle concerns battery technology. On Tesla's battery day, Musk claimed the company would introduce an internal tableless battery that would be cheaper to produce while providing six times the power and 16% longer runtime. These drums sound like a game changer, but they're probably several years old. Much like the batteries themselves, it looks like the $25,000 Tesla is similar to many of Musk's other promises. A great idea with a long wait time. We're not going to say that Tesla will never produce a $25,000 car, but you shouldn't hold your breath if you're in the market for a new car in the next few years. If Tesla can deliver on that promise, we see no reason why the company shouldn't dominate the Chinese and global markets. Many consumers say they would buy an electric vehicle if it were more affordable, and $25,000 seems like a very reasonable price. If we ask you which features of the model excited you the most, what will that be? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family.